Right guys, Mike Crossfield here, more golf app swing fixes. This gentleman has bought the app, iPhone or Android sent his swing via the button, his camera roll, or he's literally just taken a picture, a live video and sent it straight through, all done within the app. Let's give him some help. We're gonna talk a little bit more about his body movements here, quite aggressive, his club path control looks not too bad from what you can see from 2D video. Let's see if we can get him thinking about the way he moves his body a little bit more, control his strike, um, maybe get a little bit more consistent results out of his golf shots. Let's get stuck in. So it's a pretty interesting swing here. We see a back swing which starts by looking like he kind of almost wants to go this way on the way back. So it's almost like he's, as his body wants to turn this way, the arms wants to go away from him, club kind of goes away from him. Also what we see from that as well is we see him actually moving forwards as he does this. He really moves his pressure on his feet much more towards his toes it looks like. Then on the downswing we see a pretty good redirect. He does get that club kind of coming down on a pretty realistic path to hitting some good shots but as he does it so he moves arms out weight moving onto that pressure up onto his toes then his downswing he in the moves hips even more forward so forwards as in this way not forwards towards the target as he drops that club into a better path to try and hit the ball but as he's hitting the ball here what people would call his early extension so his movement towards the ball with his body is quite excessive now the only problem I see with people who hit the ball like this is they can hit fantastically brilliant shots because he just looks athletic and he does chuck the club at the ball looks like with a bit of force but they also can hit fantastically horrendous shots due to maybe catching at the neck or miss strikes heavies you know their their striking area can get a little bit out when they do connect because of the forces they're able to put through the shaft and what have you and he looks like he can it'll be some good shots in there but let's see if we can think about making it more consistent so look a little drill for you what i want you to do is just set yourself up with the club across your chest and get the grip end out towards the left side here so it's the furthest point away from you i've got a ball so i'm set up pretty much where i'd be if i was going to hit shot what i want you to do is just do a few back swings where you feel or back turns with your body where you feel the butt end of the club just moves inside of the ball line so as i look back here i can move see it just moving inside you're going to feel your body want to coil backwards a bit more, almost feel like your pressure on your feet, certainly going into your right foot's a bit more even, maybe even a bit more into the heel. Then on the downswing, I want you, once the butt end's inside of the ball, I want you to start bringing that butt end up and left, where for you, you're going to want to bring that butt end out this side and around. And then in your backswing, you're wanting to go pressure moving forwards, almost turning upwards, which brings the butt end of the club over the ball. So through my eye line again, butt end of the club's moving inside of the ball, and then on my downswing, it would be feeling that my butt end of the club is moving up and leftward of the ball. As you do that, just try and feel where the pressure is through your feet going into that ground. You're going to feel that you don't need to go onto your toes so much, and as you come in to hit the ball, push out onto that toes, moving this club this way. Now, right, once you get the club in the hand, try and get the same feeling through your feet. But as you turn that club, so I would maybe think about moving my left shoulder now inside of the ball, which is almost what I did with the butt end of the club. Um, try and feel like you just pull the club inside or back towards you as you do that on your back swings, so you don't get this push away. But really feel as you hit the shot that your connection with the ground feels less pressure onto those toes. It feels almost more even throughout, almost going into the heel of the right foot on the back swing. And then bit onto your toe and then out onto the heel on the way through of your left foot. And a great way to do that at home, get that club going inside of the ball, but in the club up to the left. Feel your body turning, but at the same time, feel how that pressure is moving into the ground a little bit more even, almost in a little semicircle, it'll feel like, down through the ground into your feet at the bottom there. And that helps, it's a good swing, very good redirect, lots of good movements in there, but I do think your strike could go from fantastic to fantastically bad if you're not careful. Uh, let's get some bit more consistency, I think you'll hit some better shots. Post comments as always guys, thanks for watching. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well, just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show, get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.